the dreaded itchy eye it's one of those things that we have all experienced and we commonly hear parents say don't rub your eye you're going to mess up your eye and we think it's an over exaggeration is it really and that is the topic that we'll be discussing today this is the dr tips show and this is where we're putting your health into your hands Joining me today is Prof. Christopher Tindley. He is a qualified ophthalmologist with a special interest in pediatrics, so he's treating children's eye problems. And he works at the Atlantic Eye Center in Cape Town. Thank you so much for joining me today, Prof. Tindley. Thanks for the invitation, Tebo. <laughs> so, you know, um, Prof, we know that itchy eyes and red eyes commonly happen together. You know, not always, but they commonly do. So I'm going to ask you first and foremost, when is a red eye, you know, dangerous when it comes to a child? A red eye is dangerous in a child if it's associated with other symptoms in the eye, such as loss of vision or severe pain or severe redness. But most of, most of the time, red eyes are not too serious and they often happen in both eyes and it's just like an itchy scratchy sensation that's associated with the eye okay so now when it comes to itchy eyes mm -hmm. what is the common commonest cause or common causes of itchy eyes in children the most common cause of itchy, itchy eyes in children is by far and away allergies yes. or itching associated to allergy and allergic eye conditions Mm -hmm. um, and it often ha happens in springtime when there are pollens in the air and children's eyes are reacting to pollens in the air. Okay. So, as I said in my opening statements, <clears throat> parents always like saying, if you rub your eyes, you are actually causing problems. Is that true? What complications can come from a child rubbing their eyes? Children who chronically rub their eyes can have real problems with their eyes um, going forward. And they can, it can actually cause a thinning or weakening of the surface of the eye which can affect your vision long term. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And so when parents, because most parents mm. are busy, let's be mm. honest, most parents are busy and you're having a child with an itchy eye mm. and they feel that, oh, you know, going to the doctor for this really is an overkill. So what can they give safely over the counter? What can they get to treat the child's eyes in the meantime? I think it's fair enough for patients to, and, and patients' parents to get maybe antihistamines over the counter or lubricant drops and see if they help. Mm -hmm. But if it, if it doesn't help the situation in a day or two or maybe a week, then I think it's, it's reasonable to refer it to a GP or a day hospital or, or a pediatrician. So when, because you said that if they don't respond in two to three days, you know, mm -hmm. but when really do I have to take the child to the doctor? Because then I'm putting these drops and I'm like praying like, oh, goodness, maybe a week or two. Is that too long to wait or? I think as long as the child is comfortable and the vision isn't in impaired um, or the eye is not very, very red, I think it, it is reasonable to wait a week or two. But if it's not getting better after that, then you really should ask for help. So now you've alluded to the fact that, you know, we've been giving drops and so forth and it's now one to two weeks. Now I'm bringing my child to the clinic. What are you going to, or to the doctor rather, what am I supposed to expect as a parent that you're going to do different to my child that's going to help them to get better? Well, well, when we're managing children with itchy eyes or allergic eyes, we always start with the mildest treatments first and the simplest treatments first. But if they, if they show not to be of benefit and the child's not improving, then we have to escalate the treatment to, to stronger medications which can be associated with side effects. Uh-huh, what yes. are these medications? Yes. These treatments are anti-inflammatories or more, more commonly known as steroids and they can have side effects if you have to use them in, in children's eyes for, for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. They can cause pressure problems in the eyes and they can cause cataracts so they really have to be used under supervision by an ophthalmologist. You've, you've mentioned the antihistamines. Mm -hmm. So are there any other you know, treatments that parents should not be using in their children's eyes? with this itchy eye? That's a very uh, good question, Dr. Tebo. Uh, in traditional areas in South Africa, it's, it's quite common practice to use traditional medicines and some of them can be extremely harmful for children's eyes. So in some places, um, healers recommend using breast milk or even urine to treat eye infections or itchy eyes. And this, these can be very dangerous. So be careful about using those. Rather seek professional uh, advice before putting um, medications in your children's eyes. 
Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you because, you know, with mm. urine and breast milk, you know, some people, not some, a lot of patients end up with infections that mm -hmm. actually cause greater problems and vision loss just for an itchy eye. Yeah. And so, no, thank you very much for mentioning that. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, so the message that I am also going to put out that you've mentioned, you mm -hmm. know, well, in your answer is that, you know, steroids really should be given by a qualified doctor mm -hmm. and parents should just not accept steroids in their child's eyes, you know, for long periods of time without monitoring. I would go further to say that steroids should only be given by an ophthalmologist because they can have really severe side effects and they, and they need to be monitored carefully for these. Yeah, no, thank you for that. Mm. Thank you for that because we have seen complications mm. happening in children because they're just on steroids for months, you know. Yeah, so we'll not go down that road. We won't. But yes, that's the message that you parents should know about. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so now, um, Prof, can you tell us where can parents take their children um, when they're having these itchy eyes, you know, where government, private, a normal clinic or an ophthalmologist, who is best suited to treat this problem? Because it's a very common problem, the first place you can, you can go to is your community eye clinic or your day hospital and see if you can see a nurse there who can prescribe first line treatment. If they feel that the condition is more severe or the eyes are very, very um, inflamed, they can refer you to a, a government hospital or, or a GP. Okay, so thank you Prof so much. So do you have any closing thoughts on this topic? Yes, yeah, sure. So itching eyes in children is quite common. Don't leave your child if he's got a chronically itchy eye. There are very effective treatments for it. Um, some children grow out of it with, with time or when they get older, but some children really need to have treatment for prolonged periods of, periods of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So no, thank you so much for joining me today and for you at home thank you so much for joining me today and also listening to this episode and if you'd like more information about this topic please leave your comments below and we'll be sure to answer you and if you'd like to um, you know contact Prof Tindley we'll leave his contact details in the description below and for more content like this please do like subscribe and push the notification button so you will know when we put up our next episode until next time take care of yourselves Take care of each other and remember your health is in your hands. God bless.